If you think squeezing your feet into an uncomfortable pair of heels is painful, then Israeli jewelry designer Naomi Kisner's hardcore jewelry is probably not for you. Her innovative pieces are meant to be inserted into the wearer's veins, harnessing kinetic power from the body's involuntary movements to produce electricity. The collection, named Energy Addicts, features invasive pieces of gold jewelry that have golden spikes at each end, which are inserted into the wearer's veins in two places. The continuous flow of blood turns the golden wheel inside the design, eventually creating sufficient kinetic energy to produce electricity that is sufficient to light up and lead and soon maybe even charge mobile devices. Naomi created the pieces as a part of her graduation project at Jerusalem's Hadassah College. She explained that she is actually seeking explanations for the nature of a society that is based on biological wealth, and also how we humans can become a natural resource. In our modern life, energy is everything, she said. It is the force that drives economies globally, many times disregarding the consequences. I wanted to explore the post-humanistic approach that sees the human body as a resource, she added. It interested me to imagine what the world would be like once it has experienced a steep decline in energy resources and how we will feed our energy addiction. There are lots of developments of renewable energy sources, but the human body is a natural resource for energy that is constantly renewed, as long as we are alive. Although it isn't too likely that people will start wearing such jewelry soon, Naomi believes that technologically we are not too far away from these ideas becoming a reality. So her intention is to provoke a debate, will we be willing to sacrifice our bodies in order to produce more energy? I hope that the project will make people think about the possibility that this could be their future, and make them think about whether it is the future they want or whether we can do something different today to avoid it, she said.